The further west I go, the wilder the landscapes become. It's no surprise that these regions have inspired artists and writers for centuries. So I think it's only right that a poet should be the first person I meet on my journey through Ireland. John O'Leary draws his inspiration from this tremendous landscape. He's going to show me his favourite bit of coastline and hopefully give me some ideas for a wild camping location. Oh, so, so here you go, Joe. This is what we came to see. An image, if you like, of the terrible power of the sea, the immense Tremor Oceani. Some there are some days when you could stay, you could stand here, and the waves in a storm would be coming in at eye level. Uh, I've seen, I've seen 50 or even 60 foot waves kind of breaking, breaking here. Um, and they say it takes a wave three days to cross the Atlantic from Newfoundland, gathering power as it goes. Um, I, I have a poem. Um, which, uh, which uh, describes the life of the wave in its three days. Well, this seems the best place to, uh, to <laughs> hear it. <laughs> the first day, there were still birds on my surface. A puffin made two rainbows diving through the wall of me. The second day, I was aggrandized, tall as a warrior. A storm petrel slept in my wind shadow. On the third day, breaking in a blizzard of gulls, I am the world before color. I am a form of the wind. I am your heart's thunder and your broken mind. Written by yourself? Yes, indeed. And inspired by this very spot? It, it, this place would be in my mind always. I get the feeling John thinks I should sleep right here.